Okay, so the first part of the e-collar training actually doesn't really involve using the e-collar at all. I want her to become very acclimated to the word yes as a reward word. So basically, end result that we're gonna do is the e-collar will use that at the lowest sensation that she can detect. I'll say yes to kind of pair those sensations and get her to associate the e-collar with yes, which she has a very positive association with. So it's just kind of a very step-by-step -step way of making sure that she understands this. I have the e-collar on her, but I'm not actually using it. I don't have the remote or anything just to get her acclimated to wearing it while she's working. So in my little pouch here, I've got her dinner and we're just gonna work on teaching her that the word yes is the best word ever. Hey, yes. <laughs> you can eat it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Ready? Yes. Yes. So these marker words are kind of like the grammar of the language that you're going to use to communicate with your dog. So we've got yes, no, obviously means don't do that, stop doing that pay attention to me instead of whatever other things are out there, um, and free. So free, I think I showed you in one of the other clips, um, basically means command is over, you're done. So it's very helpful for stay and for the place so that you are the one saying, okay, you're done doing this rather than the dog just kind of wandering off when they get bored. Ready? Yes. So something that helps me with holding the treats and having it be really easy to reward the dog, I put the treat in between my first finger and my middle finger, and then I cover it up with my thumb. So that way my hand is kind of like a little bowl and I'm able to just take my thumb off when I want to reward the dog. Yes. 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 So in addition to place, this is a good protocol that you can do when you're just relaxing in the house or say you're at the table, you want the dog to be relaxing with you. All you do is stand on the leash. This is called sit on the dog and you just wait for the dog to get bored enough to lay down. Um, and they will eventually do that, whether it takes two minutes or whether it takes an hour. And sometimes it has taken an hour. She's pretty chill in the house, so I don't think it's gonna take her very long. Yep, she's one of those more of a 20 second types. <laughs> so then you just reward them for laying down. And um, if they do decide to stand up, you have the leash short enough so that the leash would be tight if they were to stand up. But right now it's totally loose and comfortable. So she's relieved that pressure for herself by laying down and making the leash loose. If she were to stand up, it would be tight and slightly uncomfortable. So this is a very good way of just kind of teaching your dog to chill out, especially for a working breed like a German Shepherd. They do have to be taught an off switch in the house. Okay, so this is a little impulse control exercise that we've been doing whenever we go through any kind of threshold like a door or I have a bunch of um, like landings in my stairwell. So we always wait at each new landing. Um, An impulse control is basically her just taking a second to think before doing what she would instinctually prefer to do. So I think that'll help you a lot um, because, you know, obviously with chasing prey, like small dogs, deer, whatever, um, she's just doing what she would naturally want to do as a herding and um, you know protection dog so this is basically how we do it just open the door very slowly the door opens the more she waits so if she tries to get through even with her nose like that good good choice there free Good job. Okay. Sit. Good girl. 
All right, so this is another thing that you can do um, on your walks just to make sure that she's checking in, paying attention to you, as she is not right now. Let's go. So she's a little distracted right now. You can get her to sit. Let's go. But, you know, sometimes I'll start with a normal pace. And then I go very, very slow. And you see how loose the leash is? Oop. I just don't want her to be sniffing the ground while we're working. Sometimes the slower you go, the more they have to think. So a lot of times people think, okay, my dog has a lot of energy. It's really crazy. I need to exercise it all the time. Um, but actually what you need to do is teach them patience and how to deal with all that energy that they have. Let's go in a more productive way because you can exercise a German Shepherd forever or an athlete that still badly behaved. So we don't want that a thinking dog. different situations. Good. Can you offer a sit? No, that's all right. Good. Good job, sweetie. Let's go. Good. 